Hey everyone and welcome to a new tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install this OBD2 meter into your MyVG3. And before proceeding any further, I just want to say thank you and shout out to Akira Automotive for sponsoring this video. So now, let's begin. But before proceeding any further, let's unbox this thing. So here is the box. As you can see, there are the different displays and then also some more information about what this meter can display like speed, engine, RPM, ETC and yeah here's the brand and OBT, OBD2 gauge P6 meter so the way you open this thing is by sliding it out okay so I'm gonna put this aside alright so here is the box so when you open it you are greeted with plastic and wires basically well this is one of the connecting cables as you can see it's a usb usb to i can't remember what type of cable it is but uh here's one of the long cables and this is the meter itself wrapped in plastic to protect it from any dust or whatsoever or water so put this here and then another long Okay, well, this is the one that connects to the car and I think if I'm not mistaken, this one is to connect to a computer for uh, Customizing or something. I can't remember but yeah, uh, this one is separate But this one will be used for the car inside the car. Okay, and we have a tiny screwdriver As you can see put this aside here Then we have the mount for the stand It's uh Let's see, it is a suction cup style mount, okay, and then we have some, what is this, this is double sided tape, well, double sided tape padding to attach this thing as well, or this, uh, I don't know, we'll see which one is it, but oh, there's also double sided tape here, so I assume this is a spare, and then this one is to remove or pry out some panels later on, so We'll see how this part will be used. And then lastly, the instructions manual. So yeah, that's it. So without further ado, let's begin the installation process. Alright, so from all of the items contained within the box I showed you just now during the unboxing, the two main parts which you really need is just the meter and this main cable. The meter, of course, is to show everything and it is the main item, of course. And this cable is the main one that will be used to connect the meter to your car. So that is the connection point. And now I will show you the plug where this will connect. All right, so the connection plug is not so difficult to find. It is basically at the lower left side of the driver's seat. As you can see, it is right over here. Yeah, it is this white plug over here which you'll be connect. So it's pretty straightforward. You do not have to remove any existing plugs because it is already open over here. So now let's let's connect the plugs together. The way I'll be connecting the OBD2 meter to the car is by connecting the plug from the OBD2 meter all the way around here, through the side, all the way over here, under, and towards the meter down there. So the reason why I won't be opening this panel like some other tutorials do is because for the MyVG3 1.5, the one I'm using, the it has an airbag over here, see, as you can see, it's SRS airbag. And that is why I'm not gonna open this panel because I'm concerned that the airbag will, I don't know, uh, be faulty or pop out or whatever. And I just do not want to risk anything. So that is why I won't be opening this panel to access the gap, which is underneath this panel. So basically for other tutorials, they open this panel because there's a gap down there for you to put the wire into to make things look neat. But because there is a SRS airbag here, I do not want to waste anything by opening this panel. However, if you are using uh, MyV 1.3, you can check out a tutorial made by my friend, Awodio. I'll leave a link to his tutorial video in the description below, where he shows you how to open this panel because there is no airbag here for the 1.3 MyV. So that way you'll be able to put the cable down through that gap. Uh, under and over there so it is more neater than the way I am about to do so first off let's secure the position of this OBD2 meter over here by you know removing the tape and yeah planting it over here 
So I suggest that you guys put it in a position that is comfortable for you to look at without having you to turn your neck so much. As you saw earlier, here is the main cable that you'll be using to connect the OBD2 meter to the car. And as you can see, there are two cable ties. So don't throw them away. You'll need them to secure the cables so that they won't, you know, move around and get tangled with other cables. Okay, so here is the final result of arranging all the wires. So it starts here, all the way down over here. Then I just connect it over there, right under the fuel pump uh, lever thing. And then it goes back up between this gap over here, over the steering wheel. Sorry, it's a bit dusty, but yeah, as you can see, it's over there. And to the left side, and then it goes back down to the plug over there. You can't see it, sorry. But do not worry when I place it in the gap here because it does not affect the steering wheel at all in any way. Okay, so let's start out the meter and see how it looks in three, two, one. Okay, so here is the first display that you will see once you install this thing. In order to change the display of this OBD2 meter, all you have to do is press the middle button over here. So we have, this is the first display, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so we have a total of 10 different displays with uh, different designs and different purposes because as you can see, um, these first few meters are pretty similar in style while they show the same information but you know, different design. But once you get over here, you have a more detailed display, speed, RPM, ECT, temperature, uh, voltage. And then next up we have an acceleration test. So it can measure your 0 to 100 speed. I will test it after this, of course. Your braking test. And then also PID. Huh, so this is some other info too. So yeah, uh, that is how the display looks. And these two other buttons basically it navigates between uh, the different things you want to display. Such as fuel, map, OID, AF, and more. A lot of things you can choose to display here actually. So after this, I will show you guys how it looks when I do a 0 to 100 kilometer run.
All right, so as you saw just now, the installation process was pretty easy and straightforward. So if you have more questions or like, you know, more unique questions, uh, you can ask me in the comment section below or you can ask the seller who is selling this uh, OBD2 meter at their Shopee uh, account. So of course, I will leave a link to the OBD2 meter in the description below. You can check them out. I think it is one of the more affordable OBD2 meters. It goes for uh, 178 ringgit as, I'm as of now when I'm recording this video. And yeah, I'll leave a link to the shop, to the meter. And yeah, I guess that's all for, the, for this video. So once again, uh, thank you to Akira Automotive for sponsoring this video and a uh, shout out to them of course. So yeah, uh, I hope all of you enjoyed this short tutorial video. Leave a like if you like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time.